courts had an opportunity to consider um, the evidence of the um, at this hearing. Uh, the court, first with respect to criminal history, um, finds that defendant has uh, two prior uh, felony convictions. One resulted in a four-year prison term for an F3 felony theft. That's a serious offense. Court doesn't consider that a low-level felony. Also, also on the earlier, also a um, an attempted aggravated robbery, which again is a serious felony. So there is a serious criminal history. Um, the court heard the testimony from Detective Connell, and there are uh, distinctive testimony about the black Camaro with tinted windows and tinted license plate that um, was consistently followed by the detective and the police during their investigation. Combining the tracking of the car and the license plate that comes back to the registration to this defendant is significant evidence. Defendant's phone being tracked in the car from Columbus to uh, this area on the diamond day in question, also significant. Defendant's statements made to Detective Connell placing himself in the black Camaro on the date and time, though not necessarily in the jurisdiction, are significant. The fact that the court has no ID on any other possible witnesses is a factor that weighs in the court's consideration. With respect to the danger to the public, the courts, especially considering that the eight shell casings, in this case, according to BCI, match another road rage shooting in Columbus in April of 2023. Given all of these factors and weighing considering the court finds that the proof is evident and that the court's determination based on the way of the evidence of the accused, the nature of the offense of the charge of murder, the criminal history of the accused, and the potential for risk and harm and the fact that it involves gun violence causes the court to continue its order to deny bail. The court's understanding of this is that in two to three weeks, defendant will be presented to the, in shorter time, be presented to the grand jury that his case, if it's indicted, will be bound over to uh, the Summit County Court of Common Pleas, and at that time, a bail review will occur. In the meantime, Mr. Riley, as you indicated, you could ask the court to reopen this hearing if you, during discovery, discover evidence, other evidence for the court to consider. Having concluded the hearing, we'll be in recess. Mr. Kennard, let me address you and just to say, the court has made a decision that I'm gonna to continue to deny bond. You'll continue to be held without bond at the Summit County Jail. You will not be subject, uh, you will not be permitted to be released from that jail for any reason. I encourage you to stay in touch with your attorneys, please. Thank you, Mr. Kennard, you're all done.